Today we're going to take this regular clock and apply the dispersion effect to it. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. Today we'll be taking this clock and applying the dispersion effect to it. If you want to use the same clock, I've included a download link in the description, or you can use whatever photo you want. The techniques we use today will work for any picture. The first thing we need to do is select the clock. We can do this by using our selection brush tool over here. And after you click on that, you can just paint a selection. So click and click and drag until you have the whole clock selected. Uh, there's a couple details I need to get a little bit closer in to do and make my brush size smaller by using the bracket keys under the plus sign. And now I can paint and increase my selection. I won't bore you as I finish selecting the clock, so I'll fast forward to when I have the whole clock selected. Okay, now that we have our clock selected, we're going to duplicate it. We can do this by pressing Command J, J for jump. So now we have one duplicate of our clock and we're going to make another one. So press Command J again. Perfect. Now that we have the two duplicates, we can delete our background. So you can click and drag, I guess they're all called the background in this case, but the very bottom one, background, click and drag that to the trash can and poof, it's gone. Now all that we have are our two duplicated clocks. And we can press Command D to deselect our clock so the marching ants go away. Next, we need to select our top layer. So come click on this top layer. And then we're going to go to the Liquify Persona. The Liquify Persona is up here at the top left, this little spinning circle. So click on that and now we can liquefy our clock. So we're going to make our clock look a little crazy right now. Don't worry too much, just click and drag and make your clock come over to the side and just drag it on out as far as you can. I know it looks weird, but it's okay. It won't, it'll look good in the end. Just click and drag, click and drag, bring that clock out, maybe I'll bring that out a little more, drag that up and that and that. All right, that's looking pretty good to me. So to apply our liquefaction, we're going to press the apply button up here at the top left. So press apply. And now we're back in the regular, uh, I think it's called develop persona, photo persona, my mistake. So now that we are back here, we're going to place a mask on our top layer. You can do that by pressing this mask icon, kind of looks like a Japanese flag. So click on that, and now we've applied a mask to our top layer, but we want to cover everything up. So we need to invert our mask. So click on this white icon, your mask, and then press Command I, I for invert, and now it's covered up our top layer with a black mask, so nothing can be seen, which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to come to the bottom layer, click on it, and apply a mask to it also. So come click on the mask icon once again, but this time we're not going to invert it. Instead, we're going to paint away some of the clock. We can do this by first pressing on the mask and then clicking B, B for our brush tool. And now we can paint to get rid of some of our clock. So I can paint and drag and make my clock disappear. And this will only work if I have a black paintbrush as you can see, I have black selected. Uh, if I had white selected, then it brings back the clock. And you can switch between those two colors by pressing X, and it will change to the black or the white, the opposite one that you have already. So as you can see, we don't wanna get rid of our whole clock. We just wanna make little dots on it disappear to make it look like it's disintegrating. So we need a different brush. Come over here to brushes, and then instead of basic, go to spray paints. And for this effect, I found that these two work really well. I think it's number five and number six. So I'm gonna select number five. All right, and then come back over to color, make sure I have black selected, 
and I'm going to paint some of my clock away. So if I click and drag, it looks like some of my clock has disintegrated. And if I make this bigger, it'll give a, a different effect where I can make it really small and drag it along the edge. So really focus on this right side and maybe get a little bit over here on the left. And you can even make some of it completely disappear if you want. So just make it look some of it like it disintegrated. Get rid of some of it here and there. Whatever you feel like getting rid of. And then once you have a good disintegration effect, we're done with this step. And we're going to now bring back some of the clock that we hid before. To do this, we need to select our top layer mask, this black one that we inverted. Click on that. And now we want to bring some of the clock back. So we need to be using white paint. So make sure you have white selected. And now when you paint over here, it'll look like you brought some of your clock back. I think I overdid it there. I'm going to do Command Z to get rid of some of that. So just do a couple clicks. Don't click and drag too much or it'll look like you brought all of your clock back. So just click, click, click. Maybe a little bit of click and drag. You can try making it bigger. And as you can see, I'm getting some nice little speckles, and I'm sure you are too. And it looks like our clock is disintegrating out into the distance. This is the dispersion effect. You can spend as long as you want here on this step, refining your disintegration, trying to make it look just right. But for our purposes, I'm going to keep this tutorial short and just show you the last step. What we need to do is come over here and press new uh, add pixel layer, not new layer, add pixel layer. And now we have this blank pixel layer. And if we come up to the very top and select edit fill, then we can make it totally white. So that's perfect, apply. And then we're going to take this and put it at the bottom. So now we have a nice white background for our disintegrated clock. Well, that wraps up our tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the dispersion effect. If you want to see more cool tutorials on Affinity Photo, hit that subscribe button. We'll be coming out with more great tutorials in the future. So hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.